Hi, I am Richa from JustPay. In this video, I will explain what is Gateway Reference ID, the use cases where it's applicable and how to configure in JustPay dashboard. Gateway Reference ID is a parameter that needs to be passed to JustPay to identify to which sets of PGs the transaction should be routed to. Let me explain you with an example. Let's assume there is a merchant who runs an online lifestyle brand and has two sets of businesses. One line of business is clothes and second line of business is cosmetics. They have also received two sets of credentials for PG1 and PG2 for each line of business. Now, if they want to route transaction for one particular line of business, they can achieve using Gateway Reference ID. This ID will determine which sets of PGs the transaction should be routed to. To mirror this setup, you need to do two major steps. One is passing the Gateway Reference ID in Session API and second is configuring Gateway Reference ID in PG Control Center. Let's get started. First, let's see how to pass Gateway Reference ID in Session API. On my screen, you can see link to the JustPay developer documents. Session API is one of the two backend API calls that needs to be done to integrate JustPay payment page. For more details, you can find a video link that is attached in the description below. To mirror the setup of Gateway Reference ID, you need to pass a metadata parameter in Session API that is metadata.justpay colon gateway reference ID. The value to this parameter will be the indication of your line of business. In our example, the two line of businesses are clothes and cosmetics. For the transactions that are coming from the clothes line of business will have the value as clothes. Similarly, for the transactions that are coming from the LOB, cosmetics will have the value as cosmetics. Please note that the value of this gateway reference ID parameter is case sensitive. Once you pass this parameter in session API, this has to be mapped in PG control center as well. On the screen, you can see the link to the JustPay dashboard. In the PG control section, you can see currently there are two PGs configured pay you and raise a pay with no gateway reference ID configured. To mirror our example, we need to have four PGs. Two PGs configured with gateway reference ID as clothes and the other two PGs configured with gateway reference ID as cosmetics. To achieve this, first we need to edit the gateway reference ID for the two PGs configured. For editing, click on the PG, click on Edit Gateway Configuration and you can see the Gateway Reference ID section. Let's assume this gateway was configured for with the credentials of clothes business. You need to edit the Gateway Reference ID and pass the value as clothes as it was passed in Session API. Click on Check Validity. If the Gateway Reference ID is valid, click on Proceed and complete the configuration. Now you can see that a PayU Gateway has been configured with clothes as a Gateway Reference ID. Similarly, repeat the procedure for the other Gateway. Now both the Gateways has been configured with Gateway Reference ID as clothes. Now to configure the other set of credentials for Gateway Reference ID, Cosmetics, configure the two PGs by passing the Gateway Reference ID as Cosmetics. To understand how to configure these PGs in PG Control Center, a video link for both the PGs has been attached in the description. After configuring the two gateways for the other LOB, this is how the configuration in the gateway looks like. PayU and RazorPay configured with Cosmetics line of business, RazorPay PayU configured with Clothes line of business. 
Now this setup will be used to route the transactions for separate LOBs to their separate PGs. One last configuration that you need to do is navigate to route settings and enable the enable gateway reference ID based routing flag. If there is any mismatch between the gateway reference ID passed in session API and the gateway reference ID that has been configured in the PG control center, there will be a mismatch in the payment methods that has been displayed on your payment page and also the transactions will not be routed. I hope with this video, you understood the concept of gateway reference ID and you will be able to achieve that for your use case.